Hey, are you Mike Kaplan? Only if you're so say the elemental wizard. So it's an if and only if statement. I suppose so. Do you mind if I ask you a math problem? I don't see why not. Great. So, say you're on some sort of a TV competition that features a thousand contestants in the first round, and then a hundred contestants in the second round, fifty contestants in the third, ten in the fourth, and five in the fifth. Assuming that every contestant has the same odds of making it from one round to the next one, then what are the odds that someone in the first episode will make it all the way to the fifth episode? Well, that is definitely not similar to anything that I've been through recently. Well, good then. The odds of making it from the first episode to the second is 100 out of 1,000, which simplifies down to 1 in 10. Then from the second to the third round, it's 50 out of 100, which simplifies to 1 in 2. Then from the third to the fourth, it's 10 out of 50, which is 1 in 5. And from the fourth to the fifth, it's 5 out of 10, which is 1 in 2 again. So that's four different sets of odds. How do you combine it into just one? You multiply them together. Aha, <laughs> I should have known. Because you have to succeed in all four initial rounds to make it to the fifth, so that's 1 out of 10 times 1 out of 2 times 1 out of 5 times 1 out of 2, which is 1 out of 10 times 2 times 5 times 2. So it's 1 out of 200. Those are tough odds, but not impossible. I thought you should know something, though. Oh, really? There's a faster way of doing that. No way. For real? We start out with 1,000 contestants. You want to whittle it down to just 5, so the odds of getting it to that top 5 are 5 out of 1,000, which simplifies down to 1 in 200. No way! That's the exact same answer as before. How did you do that? Well, if I hadn't simplified the odds each time uh, in the first four rounds, you would have seen the numerators and denominators canceling each other out each time I multiplied together two sets of concurrent odds. Okay, so let me get this right. From the first round to the second, the odds are 100 out of 1,000. And then from the second to the third, the odds are 50 out of 100. So the hundreds cancel out, leaving you 50 out of 1,000 from the first to third round. Exactly. And so forth. Ah, I like that. Thanks. Math pros, math pros, it's the end of the show. We are letting you go till the next episode. Try to crack the code, keep solving the play. Loosen up, do a couple math problems a day.